Suiting up. Ready, Freddy. Hope we're all that ready. Callo. All right? Integrating search area from Sam. How he pulled that mystery signal through the storms, I have no idea. Multisensory neural collision. Amazing. Factory fresh across the board. Spinning up the compensators. You're already tuning the displays. We'll get a better read on this pass than the Nexus has had in months. What? I said a lot of people have their hopes pinned on us. They gave up on Eos. Can't blame them. Expected a golden world, instead they saw their friends die. Never know how that'll affect. Oh, sorry. You okay? We didn't come millions of light years to die in a different place. I'm not letting the initiative down. Pathfinder, the Tempest checks out. We're good. Take us down. You have no idea how long I've wanted a Pathfinder to say that. Core is hot. Shields holding, adjusting entry. We got this, right? There. Set us down at this nav point. How to even start? Reports state this planet suffers deadly storms that are contaminated by radiation from the Scourge. EO's deployment was incomplete due to environmental hazards and ultimately hostile encounters. Plus, no Pathfinder. If EOS is like Habitat 7, that signal we scanned must be connected with the atmosphere. We could use the outpost's antenna to track it down. Let's get the power back on. Last in these conditions. But they didn't have a Pathfinder. They do now. We'll make Eos a home. Got a code lock key. Gives us access if we need it. This analysis provides us with important research data, Pathfinder. If you continue to scan and collect this data, we can utilize it to develop new technologies and upgrades for equipment such as your weapons and armor. It's inoperable, Pathfinder. Too long in this environment without power. We didn't expect this kind of environment. Who could? Pathfinder, that door is locked. Until power is restored, there is no way to unlock it or gain entry to these buildings.
Another code, like we already found. We suffered our first death today. Storm came out of nowhere. Lockley tried to cover our crops. Lost his footing. Got swept away. His wife is still in cryo. Maybe by the time they wake her up, I'll know what to say. I think this is for purifying water. It's huge and crooked. The storms did that? No way this has been here long. Um, going by call sign records, that shuttle is currently parked in the Nexus. Someone's been naughty. This body's Omni tool has a door access code. Not the important part, Sam. We knew some were lost, Ryder. We weren't told they were left. Wonder how many are out there. Too many. Lexi, update Nexus records on Harwell FioJ. And get a recovery shuttle out here. Good idea. If he's got family, they deserve closure. We'll give them more than closure. We'll finish what he started. Main door had power, but not the interior doors? Full functionality would require an active power relay station. That means the antenna's out of power, too. The logs might tell us what's up with the power relay. Sandstorms, radiation. What the hell was Addison thinking, sending us here? Eos might have looked great back in the Milky Way, but up close, it's a hellscape. Farthingale's on my case to stay positive. Put on a brave face for the rest of the team, but I can't shake the feeling that I'm gonna die out here. I got a partial log, but I can't turn on the antenna. Something's blocking the power. A remote lock is active. The interference originates from a nearby power relay tower. So we're not the only ones interested in what happened here. Let's check out this relay tower. Look at this place. 
It's a wasteland. The radiation in Eos' atmosphere makes it difficult to cultivate life. Radiation? Our suits protect against that, right? Site 1 contains shield masts to dampen the brunt of contamination. But if we went outside Site 1's perimeter? That would not be advised. Pathfinder, that door is locked. Until power is restored, there is no way to unlock it or gain entry to these buildings. Looks like salvage. New. Days ago, no. Who else is here? Structure up ahead. Sam? It fits the profile of a power relay station, Pathfinder. Right. We get it running, maybe buildings get power. And we can hunt that signal down. Pathfinder, that door is locked. Until power is restored, there is no way to unlock it or gain entry to these buildings. ship wasn't kept then. They don't knock. There are people here? We thought everyone left was gone. Of course you did. Now shove off. Find your own salvage. This spot's taken. I'm not a salvager. I'm a pathfinder. We've come to fix all this. Call me Clancy. Pathfinder, huh? Like that changes much. The Nexus just can't let Eos go, can it? However much it fails down here. I'm tracking a signal that will help Eos. I only need power for the antenna. Look, I cut the power for a reason. The Ket are patrolling today. You turn the power relay back on, they'll know there's a juicy target alive down here. Is it smarter to hide and hope? Or take a chance that might save this whole planet? I remember when people used to talk like that. Okay, I'll enable the generators out there. You want to poke the tiger, it's on you. Expect trouble when we start the generators. There's an error in the startup sequence. Manual input required. Damn it. Please scan one of the pylons to determine a hackable input location. Generator interface possible. Location marked. Generator is active. Sam, our friend Clancy. Was he part of the outpost team here? No, Pathfinder. According to Nexus records, he's stationed in the hangar bay. So he's what? Plain hooky? Or he's a part-time salvager. Company.
you took down all those cat? Sure, use the power relay. Hell, take whatever you like. Word of advice, though. If that signal of yours is out past the perimeter, you'll need a ride. A ride? Shuttles aren't fun in these winds. You need wheels. I think they kept a little something in storage. Didn't get around to salvaging it yet? I tried. It ain't that simple. Might be easier for a Pathfinder, though. We're heading to our shuttle. Keep this up. Maybe next time we'll find more than just salvage around here. Go on. We'll take it from here. I guess Crazy Blue has to buy her parts from someone else. Power restored. We should have access to everything in Site 1 now, right Sam? Correct. Plus I've located the source of the signal we detected in orbit. It's coming from the large alien structure just beyond Site 1. The structure appears almost identical to the one your father used to adjust the atmosphere on the previous planet. It's worth investigation. Let's not forget what else happened on Habitat 7. This is powerful alien tech. We need to respect it. Go slow. For sure. We'll follow your lead. A warning. Radiation levels beyond the perimeter of Site 1 are well above acceptable limits. You cannot proceed without additional protection. So if that structure can make a difference here, well, that would be really good. Come on, we better find that vehicle Clancy mentioned. Now the power is restored, we can investigate the nearby buildings. Walls could talk. Holy shit, it works! Can you get audio? Compiling now. We can't survive another attack. The storms and radiation were already killing us. Now we've got those things. We can't return to the Nexus with our tails between our legs. The whole station is counting on us. Then they're counting on corpses. Those things must be talking about the cat. Wilcox thinks I'm crazy, but I know what I saw. Eyes on the mountain watching us. We're not alone out here. This log was recorded a day before the first cat ambush on Site 1. The cat scouted them out. There was something very wrong at the second outpost they made. An attack? The radiation? Whatever it was, Site 2 made a special project to handle it. Let's keep it in mind for later. Pathfinder, I have enough sensory data to reconstruct an image. I could provide analysis via the scanner, Pathfinder. You step outside recently. There's nothing golden about EOS. Not saying there won't be challenges, but we can do this, Wilcox. We have to. It's like we're listening to ghosts.
All these challenges, and the colonists still try to tough it out. They didn't know what they were in for. They weren't told. Sam and I could have helped them. This won't happen again. Special requisition, all-terrain scout rover. A nomad, six-wheel drive, jump jets, just what you need. I might be drooling a little bit. This must be what Clancy meant. The crate requires an access code from a forward station. Forward stations act as emergency resupply checkpoints. Several are currently in orbit. I can call one down. Let's find a good spot. Automated protocols activated. Deploying forward station. Looks like the forward station supplies are intact. Downloading Nomad Crate access code. Well, what do you know? The outpost research center is still intact. Updating the Tempest on this critical recovery. Research was always key to the initiative. We'll need it here too. This tech is how we survive in Andromeda. Ingenuity on the ground. Someone else agrees. This research center was used recently to monitor the alien signal. This gives us the tools to find the source. And maybe whoever else is looking. The research station is back online. I've provided a list of weapons we can build by gathering the required components.
The Nomad should handle pretty smooth. Check both forward and reverse, would you? Radiation levels increasing. get traction. It's too steep. Switch to six-wheel drive. It'll get you up there in a snap. Remember the Nomad's jump jets. They'll get you over most obstacles. If you need more juice, the boosters can accelerate you out of trouble. Nice work. Another memory trigger? Yes, though my memory array remains locked. Additional triggers are required. Signals coming from that structure up ahead. Pathfinder, another deceased colonist. If you get me their name, I'll update the records and tag the body for recovery. 
Avante, Tegan C. Radiation got to her. I'm picking up initiative tech nearby, from above us. I see it. Up on that piece with the scaffolding. It's working, but I'm just getting random symbols. Glyphs. With more glyphs to expand my database from Habitat 7, I could interface fully with the console and hopefully start up whatever helps the atmosphere. I could provide analysis via the scanner, Pathfinder. Someone's shuttle. Pretty banged up, but spaceworthy. enough to carry heavy equipment up there. Too sophisticated for a salvager. Who else is studying this place? That should complete the glyphs, Pathfinder. connection. I apologize for any discomfort. The system seems unstable. This what happened when my dad tried doing this? Your father interfaced directly with the atmosphere processor. That proved extremely hazardous. These structures could reveal its control center. System remains unstable. Doubling our power input might accelerate the process. I'll give it a shot. You've come this far. Just let it ride. I've been studying this tech for months. I don't know how you activated those glyphs, but you have to let them cycle through their channels. It's going to be all right. Trust me, okay? I know, I know. Who am I? I mean, it's obvious who you are. I saw the ship swoop in. You're a Pathfinder was beginning to think the initiative just made you guys up so the rest of us wouldn't lose hope, but you're for real, huh? Are you for real? You were going to tell me who you are. I might just be the solution to all your problems. Well, look at that. System has stabilized. I'm establishing a connection. Oh, crap. I know these things from Habitat 7. Later! Just take them out! My first tangle with the Remnant was a lot messier. The Remnant? These monoliths, the Observer and Assembler bots, they're all the remnants of something much bigger. But that's too long. Ugh, I hate long. So, the Remnant. Like, my name's better as PB. Ryder, you've been studying this Remnant technology? What have you learned? Plenty. Not nearly enough. It's old, it uses glyphs, and it's well protected. I saw this tech clear the skies on Habitat 7. We're hoping it could do the same for Eos. Huh. 
Atmosphere manipulation? Maybe. Fits the model. All remnant tech is connected. You interfaced with this monolith somehow, and now it's pinging the others. If you wake them up too, they must lead to whatever master switch might fix the radiation. Interface with the monoliths, follow the connection to the source. Easy enough. Sure. Just don't piss off too many observers. Here, take my nav points. I'll be... I've got to figure this interfacing out. Just be careful. This planet's all kinds of strange. Fascinating, huh? Oh, this is the kind of stuff that gets you out of bed in the morning, too. Solving alien mysteries on hostile worlds? <laughs> Do you need to ask? <laughs> A man after my own heart. Follow my nav points, figure out those monoliths, and we can both get some answers. Is anyone else camped out on Eos? There's the Ket, Clancy Salvagers, and one angry old man. Who do you mean? Let's just say he's here to squish Ket, and doesn't care whose gear he tramples. We're hoping this tech can fix the atmosphere and make Eos livable. Think it's possible? Yes. Maybe. Possibly? This tech is so new. I mean, old here, but new to us? Who knows what it can do? How old is it exactly? It's been dormant for centuries, which I guess isn't actually that old. Huh. But long enough for conditions here to get royally screwed up, if they really are connected. Is PB a typical Asari name? Never heard it in my hunter's days. Oh, you know things? Good for you. I know other things. It's a name. Good enough and short enough. For now. The bots we're seeing. You had names for them? I had to call them something. The observers fly around spying on anyone who touches this tech. The assembler ones make other remnant. Not sure how yet. Maybe manufacturing or 3D printing. And breachers smash into anything they don't like. Which is us. Easy to remember. How did you get here? After what happened with the outposts, I didn't expect to run into anyone. I had a ride. I had to fudge the flight plan a little. The Nexus didn't want to risk anyone else. Or let people see how rough it got. Sad. But there's still so much here. And some of us want to find it. We didn't come all this way to sit on our hands. Well, I'll head out. Yes, so much to investigate. Let's get to it. Radiation levels increasing. Radiation levels normal. Imagine leaving all the craziness on the Nexus to be the first settlers here. So much riding on you, and then... This time will be different. Right. This is our element. <laughs> that remnant's been corrupted.
I picked up readings of Nexus issued equipment nearby. The person who left this behind, she was part of the first wave of colonists, wasn't she? The probability is high. This researcher may have left data pads at other remnant sites as well. Remember the early data on EOS back home? When everywhere was labeled H with a bunch of numbers? <laughs> Your dad put those readings up in his office. Knew them all by heart. Wonder what those worlds really looked like then. And now. Automated protocols activated. Deploying forward station. Specialist engineer, Aman Kathari. Chased down by what he was studying? The death toll between the two outposts must have weighed on everyone. Look there. That spot is shelter, water, stable ground. It was initially overlooked due to heavy kept presence at the nearby Remnant structure, but it would be an excellent outpost site. Ket and Remnant. Seems you can't find one without the other. So... If we clear the skies, this might be our new home. One folks were interested in the monoliths, too. Did they learn anything? Mostly what you learn the hard way. But hey, now you're here.
Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. More remnant bots. These ones don't seem hot. I'll detect a high level of remnant encryption here, Pathfinder. To continue, you will need to decrypt it. I think that's it. It appears to reconfigure panels that rise from the floor. That could come in handy. What do we have here? Lexi, found another colonist. So many. All right, send me their information. We're so close. I just know it. Once we get that linguist, we'll crack it. There's so much tech here. It has to help. Then I can see Carrie again. It's been a slow start, but we got this. We... Oh, no. No! Damn it. The Remnant aren't all bots and maybe blue skies. Stay careful. They were saving any data they could, in case it helped the next try. That's us. The next try is us. Pavlov, Amira S. Got it. Thanks, Ryder. Okay, let's find these glyphs. Wonder if I'd get anything on the scanner. I'll need to use the interface that controls this. That did it! Got it. 
Okay, let's solve this thing. Yes! Nice job, Ryder. That did... whatever that did. I see pathways lighting up all over. The monoliths are resonating. QEC contact? Well, whatever's happening, they're definitely connecting. You did good. Keep doing more. Can't drop ship. Seriously? Can't catch a break. Thinking the same thing. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. Ever disobeyed an order, Cora? In my soldier days? No, that's kind of the point. It's that mechanical. You never thought about it. Military discipline isn't there to give you something cool to rebel against. In combat, people depend on you being in the place they expect, doing what you're meant to do, or they die. That doesn't mean you're doing the right thing. I know. One down. So whatever tech we found on Habitat 7 is the same as what's here? That's what the scans suggest. Two planets now. What does that mean? You know what it means. Sue up and find out. Got it. like a cat facility of some kind. Those assholes took over my best research site. They won't let you near the monolith without a fight. Ken, watch out. Ken incoming! Tween. 
Hostile shuttle incoming. Horsemen's, do they know we're here? We've got the monolith well protected. We'll need to cut that shield's power supply. to it before there's any more cat. Are you? 
you. That was pretty cool. Huh. Well, yeah. Guess it was. Still haven't told me who you are. I'm the Pathfinder. Are you now? My name's Scott Ryder. I'm Drag, Clan Nackmore. You'll forgive me if I didn't just trust a stranger from the Nexus. They haven't exactly treated us Krogan well. What are you doing out here? Checking out these monoliths? The cats seem pretty interested in this one. Looks like you cleared it out for us, though. You said I didn't save any for you? Nexus knows shit about the cat. They think they're safe. <laughs> but they're just waiting to die out there in space. I've been quads deep on a couple of planets for a while now. Taking out cat bases, fighting ground troops. <laughs> I know what they can do. It's not pretty. You know, we could use a Krogan like you, Drek. I'm flattered, but do you have any idea how many humans I've watched die? Your meat is spoiled. Besides, the day I help the Nexus again is the day the clouds part and the cat keel over. No offense. None taken. Good, because I'm getting bored and the cat are getting stronger. Seem particularly interested in this alien tech. Remnant? Yeah, that. I'm gonna go find more to shoot. Try to keep your head out there. Got a component for Site 2's project. to patrolling cat. I don't need a translation to know when I'm hearing a monster. Adding to language database. Anton, Darren T. Can't undo what happened, but we can make sure he's remembered. That we can, Pathfinder. He seems fun. Detecting above normal radiation levels. Radiation levels within acceptable limits. Life support restored.
I detect no additional glyphs in the area. Which we're looking for. I'll meet you there. Don't do anything without me. Activating automated forward station deployment. Mining zones in this region are available, Pathfinder. I've added them to your nav system. Radiation levels increasing. This area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface.
experiencing radiation damage. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. Radiation levels within acceptable limits. Life support is stable. Detecting above normal radiation levels. Is this what you signed on for? It's what we have. Not the answer I'm looking for. Just help Ryder and keep going. That's all we can do. Pathfinder, there is Nexus equipment nearby. Any hope this researcher is still alive? That outcome is unlikely. If exposed too long, pre-vault radiation would cause terminal health issues. Then maybe her work survived. We need to find the other research sites. I liked those pre-trip vision paintings of future Eos. Green fields, rivers, forests. Wonder what it'll really be like down the line. Fewer death storms would be nice. We'll get there. Pathfinder is enough to tip the balance.
No. No, this can't be right. All that fanfare for an empty room? There's some secret here. There must be. Do your... Pathfinder thing! Oh, you're good. I didn't do a thing. How far down do you think it goes? That can't be air pressure. Electrostatic? Ah, uh, gravitation. Oh, you idiot, PB. That wasn't the front door. This is. I'll let you know. Hey! It's acting like a gravity well. But where is it taking us? Embrace the unknown, Ryder. Now this is more like... Looks like a bunker. Or a vault. Whatever you call it. The controls for that atmosphere processor might be down here somewhere. Let's find out. Anything could be important. Let's be thorough. Not what we're looking for. But worth getting a record. You go ahead. I've got your back. Look there, do you see that? Looks like a broken information display. I'm getting something from that data pattern. But the glyphs make no sense. Damn it. Data corruption detected. What survives is highly technical. From the context, this could be instructions or a warning. Got anything? There's element zero threaded through all this tech. Imagine the engineering that would take. I think that gravity well works in reverse, too. Then we have a way out. You're not leaving already, are you? Not until we find those processor controls. No signs of any cat. Maybe they can't get into the vault. But you can. That'll get their attention. Lucky me. Only minimal power. I don't think it triggered the atmosphere processor, but... Pathfinder, a conduit beneath the floor just activated. Fluid is running through it. It could be generating emergency power. Your scanner will have more details. I see the conduit, Sam. Whatever it is, it leads out of the room. Wow. I really was just scratching the surface. Shouldn't it be warmer this deep underground? Phrase recovered. Must read to access. This console links to surface facilities. Then it must control the atmosphere processor. No glyphs. It looks dead, or locked down, like most of this place. The fluid conduit leads to this console and further into the vault. So if we follow that conduit, it might lead to the system lockdown. These data pattern things are incredible. If I'm right, each one can hold hundreds of zettabytes. There are whole species who get by with less. Minor corruption detected. The pattern suggests significant data present, but it cannot be accessed. Another gravity well, and that's new. What is it? A symbol of authority? A key? It's easy to speculate with Remnant, but we need more facts. I'll see what I can find on this beauty. Maybe over this way. Whatever has this place on lockdown is that way. 
I do my best work solo. You fix up the vault, I'll investigate the relic, and together we'll figure this place out. You don't watch many horror vids, do you? We have no idea what's down here. And we never will, if we miss something because we're huddled in a group. I'll be careful. Just stay on the radio. I'm on frequency 145.8. Stay safe. Ten credits say she ends up in a pit of spikes. This gravity well's sealed off. No way through. Incidentally, a gravity well is the gravitational effect of a large mass in space. This is more accurately a well with variable gravity. Keep a note for our sorry friend, and for when we try to explain all this. No interface connectivity detected. The barrier cannot be removed manually. Too bad. Well, look at this. No way through, no interface points. Hmm. Sam, note it down for later. Com check, it's, well, you know who. We read you, PB. Stay in touch. They dug this place through solid rock. Look up there. Must be how they kept it from collapsing. Whoa. What's that liquid? Unable to classify. The only way through is down towards it. An unknown alloy and other materials. The composition resembles Omnigel. Maybe that's the fluid in the conduit. They used it for working in that liquid. So whatever that liquid is, they need a whole aqueduct of it. Make that two aqueducts, at least. I just crossed one. Remnant! Careful, don't fall in that liquid! It burns through your shields! Found that out the hard way. hum through everything here. Can you feel it? Let's stay focused. We can worry after we find the system locked out.
all this for an atmosphere processor? What is this place? dried up. Unless turning that conduit on started it all flowing again, wouldn't that be something? Another aqueduct? How many do they need? If it really is like Omnigel, that fluid could be what's keeping this place going. Are those roads down there? I can't even see where they end. Some things down here work, and some don't. Perhaps to direct and assist manual reactivation of the vault, or to mislead intruders. Great. Good reasons to build it. Atmosphere processor we found before didn't need all these steps. Dad just interfaced with it directly. And it didn't work out so great. Direct intervention was necessary in that case, but clearly unwise. Look how high it is. 
Might be another gravity well? Better save the sorry! Take them out! Conduit for emergency power, same as before. The conduit splits and goes through each of those devices. Interfacing may complete the circuit and allow the well to open. If it gets us to the system lockdown, let's try. Okay, let's hit both those consoles and complete the circuit. This device appears defensive in nature. The device is online and makes a shield. At least it's friendly. Layers and layers of defenses, if they're defenses. The remnants are just full of surprises. There are only glimpses into another civilization. Too bad we have to keep destroying them. They must be fighting for a reason. All these mysteries. Something big is happening in Andromeda, Ryder. Something magnificent. Let's find that system lockdown. Okay. Let's hit the other console and complete that circuit. is variable. There could be activity below. Then let's dig deeper. Hardly any dust. How old is this place? Unknown. Radiation counts indicate the vault has been offline for several hundred years. Around the time the Scourge appeared? That can't be a coincidence. Maybe the Scourge is why all this tech was abandoned? Dead. Without the conduit, there's not even enough power for the door. Scientists will love it either way. Crap. The conduit sprang a leak. Careful. No way you can interface with the console like that. And no fluid means no power. Damn it. Maybe that's why those devices up above were turned off. We're not turning back now. There has to be some way to fix the leak. Well, you 
look at that. How do we get across? That did it. Watch your step. It's still a long drop. See them too? Thought all the gravity fun had messed up my eyes. No sunlight, no water. They should all be dead. The source of the system lockdown may yield more information. We appear to be close. Glad I didn't eat a big breakfast. Backtrack. Observers coming up at us. Huh. Armor hydraulics compensating. down already and this place goes even deeper what's at the bottom let's not find out the hard way writer i think i got it this relic is some kind of data storage device what's on it give me a chance i'll need my notes back on the surface to really crack it but just imagine if it has one of those data patterns intact think what mysteries we could solve Nice work, 
people. those data patterns. It's practically a library. You're kidding. I'm looking at it right now. And I went the other way? Crap. I'd kill to be standing where you are. Severe data corruption detected. Is there anything left? A possible reference to EOS, and a term that could translate to craft, discovery, or edifice. Severe data corruption. Unable to recover information. Data recovered. These fragments appear to be from system reports generated by the vault. However, I do not recognize most of the systems described. Data recovered. A phrase that seems analogous to Atmospheric conditions. Atmosphere again. We're on the right track. Data corruption. Approximating a translation of surviving terms. Protocol disengage. Vergerous. Vergerous? Ah, uh, so many answers right there, and no way to reach them. Do it. That did it. Love this place. Nothing hooked him like the unknown. Someday, Sarah could be exploring down here.
too far, even for jump jets. That is cool. We just see the air's fresh, even without a helmet. How's that possible? Platforms resonating with something. We must be close. No question. This is the heart of the vault. I've never seen anything like it. Back of my neck's doing that thing. Thoughts, Sam? Unknown. Though it appears related to the lockdown, an in-depth study may reveal its purpose. The system lockdown is disabled. The vault and the atmosphere processor should return to full operation. Ryder, you fixed the lockdown, didn't you? The whole place is lighting up. Power readings are off the chart. Really, really off the chart. But if it's back online, we should be good. to escape Ryder. I know, Sam! Another gravity well! It could go anywhere! It goes away from here! We're taking it! It's still coming! It's sweeping the whole vault! Kills anything in its way! Yeah, like us!
Very well. Not moving. Find an override. Console is attempting surface reconnection. Come on! Port restart is now complete. That was... Talk about a rush! What was that... field? Might have been sweeping the vault. Or chasing us. An immune response? Maybe one last scrub before startup? This place is full of surprises. Nothing like outrunning death. Or reactivating a huge mysterious vault. Nice going. Atmosphere processor is online. Recovering last console activity. Is that the Helios cluster? Yeah. There we are. That's Eos. Whoa. Did restarting the system do that? If that light is us, then all these points could be vaults in other worlds. Dormant like this one. Maybe. But why is there a whole network of them? What's all this for? Unless the builders show up to explain themselves, all we've got is guesswork. So far, we've seen bots, living plants, atmosphere processors. Back home, some corporation hit a desert world with an ice comet. They changed the atmosphere to bring rain, to help it support life. That first processor we saw was making things worse, but maybe it malfunctioned. Is that what these builders were trying to do? Make worlds habitable? Even terraform a whole cluster? Hey. Look there. That's different. Maybe it's active? We've got to go see. Sam? Extrapolating. These coordinates lie beyond the space we have currently surveyed, Pathfinder. Mark it on our charts. We need more to go on. Let's head up to the surface. I could use some fresh air. Look at that sky. How? No atmosphere processor works that fast. If this effect is representative, Pathfinder, air and moisture patterns will show noticeable improvement. EOS could support an outpost. A foothold. That's all we need. Just enough to begin. This remnant technology could be the key to our survival, if we can control it. You can. Kind of. Still, wouldn't hurt to find a manual. We've got a lead. Sam marked it on the charts down there. That site is active, whatever it is. Who knows what we'll find there. We? You want to come along? I want to know what makes the Remnant tick. You've got a key to their technology. Or a crowbar, at least. Welcome aboard. We'll get you a fancy job title to go over your bunk. I only need a footlocker. Data pad, toothbrush, clean underwear, that'll do. I'll catch up with you. Well? Now for our new outpost. You have already logged an ideal site. Nav point noted. Updating Tempest. The Nexus is on pins and needles, Ryder. Pods are inbound and ready. Let's go make it happen.
Pathfinder. This area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. Sophia Radiation Alert Pathfinder. Levels normal. Life support is stable. Ryder, about the time you joined the party. Telling me. <laughs> you could really handle yourself, kid. And I hear you're the one to thank for clearing up the sky. Had your number all wrong. You're not so bad yourself, old man. Maybe we should work together after all. This fight was pretty good, but you're still Nexus and green as a drill. Still, something tells me you've got potential. Be ashamed to waste that. I mean, <laughs> Just point me to your ship and try to keep up. This is gonna be great. The first colonists sent audio logs about these regions back to the Nexus. And? Fairwinds Basin. Lowest radiation count in the area. Little bit of hope. Maybe more than a little. This is where we'll build our new outpost. A real beginning. Prepping deployment order. You must choose what purpose this new outpost will serve. The Nexus doesn't get a say? Resources are at a crisis point. Protocol states this judgment call falls to the Pathfinder. With current supplies, you could build a military outpost focusing on defense and militia training. Alternatively, a scientific outpost could advance the initiative's research and discoveries. I'm choosing this outpost's direction for decades, maybe centuries. That is the prime responsibility of a Pathfinder. Be advised that the first outpost placed by a Pathfinder will be a statement in itself. Fair or not, your choice will represent the initiative and its intentions in Andromeda. Consider carefully. Prioritize research and discovery. That's our foundation and our future. Orders prepped, ready on your signal. Andromeda Initiative, this is Ryder, Pathfinder. EOS is ready for deployment. Copy that. Outpost blocked inbound, and ready as hell. <laughs> oh. 
August Bradley, operational head for this block. Mayor now, I suppose. We're ready to make the most of what you delivered. It took a lot of people to get us this far. That's the work you'll continue. I hear that. Prodromos. That's what we're calling her. They're eager. I haven't seen eager for months. Eos is far from golden. But now it's a producer. A real and reasonable first step. They think you did the impossible. The Nexus. I warned them, hoping was... irresponsible. You proved me wrong, Pathfinder. What are you playing at? Seems like being my friend is suddenly valuable. Fair assumption. The Reality Rider? You brought us time. But one outpost on a long-shot planet won't stop us from starving. You already have a lead on... something else? The nav point from the... vault. Now it gets complicated. The others are ready to officially sanction your efforts, to be a part of your success. We all want the initiative to succeed, but after failing for so long, no one agrees on how to do it. Be aware, that's all. Don't worry, I majored in glad handing during Pathfinder training. We're led by the best. Talk to Bradley. Later, we'll go over the extended job of Pathfinder. Until then, Tan's waiting on the Nexus. Detecting above normal radiation levels. levels normal. Life support restored. Sorry it came to this, Pathfinder. Everyone thinks that at first. The doctors have a name for it right now. 
Pathfinder. Pathfinder. Jacob Mitney, Research and Development. My team's just getting set up here, but we've made a discovery you might want to check out. All ears. We've put together a blueprint for augmenting your armor plating. Uploading it now. If you can collect the necessary resources from around EOS, it should work. Sounds useful. Good thinking, Mitney. This could form the basis for armor production across the initiative. Scrounge safely, Pathfinder. Hello, Kim Connor. Supplies, trade, procurement. Anything you need, I can provide. Though I hear you've got Vetra Nix keeping you well stocked. You know Vetra? I worked with her on the Nexus in those days of chaos. But I need ground under my feet, and soon hopefully trade will flourish on Eos. So how did you end up here, Connor? Me? You're the Grand Explorer. I fill out requisition forms. Really? Everyone here has some kind of story. I left mine back home. Or... the... still... Ask me another time. You said you know Vetra. What's she really like? Ah, Vetra. You're lucky to have her. Few weathered the mutiny on the Nexus as gracefully. The mutineers tried to convince her to join them. She refused, yet many of them are still her contacts and allies. If Vetra Nix has advice for you, I'd listen. Does the outpost have everything it needs? The Nexus furnished us with the basics, but that isn't enough for a home. Providing the rest is my responsibility. The labs can't work without good logistics. They'll have it. Is EOS trading with any new partners? Right now, just the Nexus, but I have contracts with Wildcat salvages and independent miners. There will be more. See you later. Be well. Come back again. Rider. I really hope all those scientists will be safe out here. We came to explore and learn. That's who we are. I keep wondering what our scientists will cook up for Eos. You haven't got a fuel cell, have you? The Quartermaster says there's plenty, but she would. Wait, oh, shit, you're the Pathfinder. Sorry, no one said VIPs were coming by. I'm just Ryder. Nice to meet you. Likewise, I'm Fox, Chief Engineer for Padromos. Anything you need, ask away. What are the other outpost staff like? Like Connor, you mean? She's pretty fun when you get to know her. 
Just don't get to know her over a poker game. Trust me. What do you do here? My team gets things going. Water, power, communications, everything a civilization needs. Well, not laws or a constitution, but it's easier to concentrate on those when you got a flushing toilet. What do you think about your new home? First impressions? We've got water, clear skies for solar power, plants to farm. The remnants are a wild card, but Bradley says you have them covered. It'll take work, no question, but I think Eos is really going to be something. What brought you all the way to Andromeda? There's a colony back home you've never heard of. Viridus. It failed. Hard. I grew up there watching things fall apart. When I left, I got into infrastructure, civil engineering, boring stuff unless you've ever lived without it. I wanted to do Viridus right, I guess. And the initiative was my best chance. Bye, Fox. Have a good one. Pathfinder, over here. Pathfinder, Major Domo Evan Bell Scott. I have headaches so you don't have to. Rather, so Bradley doesn't have to. I've also coordinated with your cat expert. He wanted me to remind you to find him. I didn't assign a cat expert to Prodromos. Then he's a hell of a self-motivator. Here's the nav, anyway. Precision is important. Any trouble with the cat? Clearing the sky cleared for the bad guys as well as us. So, some uptick in hostility was to be expected. We've some tricks up our sleeves. Thanks to the research teams. That only goes so far. Your expert is still out there. He'd have more current information than I. Thoughts on your boss? The old man. He's pretty tied into what happens here. I just pick up the day-to-day -day scraps. Good at cracking the whip for these science types. Doesn't fall for the details. I hope he's proud. Feels like he's proud. Thoughts on how the outpost is doing? The planet? Stellar. We keep it up. We'll make this world look like the brochures. How did you come to the initiative? Like many, I was lost and looking for a purpose. That sounds loftier than it felt at the time. I was an insufferable ass. The training for the trip was probably enough to cure me of it. But I always took things too far. Didn't know how to stop alienating people until I was the alien. <laughs> See? Still insufferable. Where'd you launch out of? The pale blue dot, Terra Prime. Big old boring Earth. I miss... I miss that wet dog smell after the first snow melts. I don't know why. What about you? Miss anything? Things were easier. So much already built. We get to do it all again, for good or bad, I guess. Better get it right. Sounds like you left some interesting circumstances. I miss the family, and maybe they miss me. But that doesn't mean I'd go back. I mean, we can't, but still. I like where I came from. It's a great place to be from. You know what I mean? I don't know. I liked where I was. There were other things that brought us here. Not me. Eyes on distant stars. Always have been. Another time. 
Of course. Pathfinder, mind giving me your opinion on this? I'm planning classes for our first school, when we have one. Some say we shouldn't teach Milky Way history. All irrelevant now, apparently. <laughs> we were all shaped by that history. Our children deserve to know how and why. Agreed. Maybe you'll change a few minds. Thanks for stopping. Pathfinder, I hear you're to thank for a physics-defying atmosphere processor. That's me. I'm Ryder. Hanley Abrams, Director of Scientific Research on EOS, and Ryder of papers that start what the hell weather. But, new galaxy, new world, and a really new start. Gotta keep up. How can I help you? What do you make of Lieutenant Bradley? Determined as hell. And he has incredible faith in us to get this done. Bradley would carry this outpost on his back if he had to, and we'll make sure he never has to. Activating that vault changed the planet. Anything to worry about? Considering it's world-altering technology we've never encountered before, I hope not. But the storms show no signs of returning, and I know who to contact for remnant tech support. I'll take it. What kind of research are you working on? Your basic first in scientific work, soil, water, atmospherics, plus studying remnant tech, because now I need to understand that to survive here. I've got to go. Keep up the good work. August said you might swing by. Ryder, yes? Dr. Ramirez, run the clinic here on EOS. Much better than life as an Alliance medic. Good to meet you. I'll guess you're not here for a checkup. How can I help you? Why did you join the Andromeda Initiative? I served in the Alliance as a medic, but let's say I saw one Batarian slave raid too many. I knew August, Bradley, and when he signed on to the initiative, suggested I consider it. This seemed like a better frontier. What's it like living in our first successful outpost? It's early days, but promising. Everyone pitches in, everyone matters. We know we'll make this work. What do you think of Bradley? I've known him for years. Was the squad medic when he was injured, and we kept in touch after his discharge. He's a smart fellow, a good lieutenant, but a better mayor. And it bugs him when I call him August. So I restrict myself to uh, two or three times a day. What's the latest from your clinic? Usual checkups for first in colonies. Plus a few cases of dehydration and some blindness. Nothing serious. I'll leave you to it. Come back anytime. Preferably unhurt. Uh, Sam, another memory prompt? Yes, though my memory array remains locked. Additional triggers are required. Mayor Bradley. Pathfinder, good to see you. We're busy as anything, thanks to you. 
bit dusty, but we can adapt. It's worth it when it's your own. Make sure to keep a clear log of what you're doing. Well, let's save some bandwidth. Busted ass defeat initiative. Copy, paste, repeat. You go do what you need to on the Nexus. Follow that dot. There will be more to do on EOS later. Some key positions, Connor Supply, Ramirez Medical, Abram Science, Fox Engineering. With them and my major domo, we won't end up like Site 1 and 2. I combed the first two outpost attempts. Those people died trying. And they deserved better from the Nexus. That's where I point the finger. We'll remember. You changed this planet, but that doesn't make it easy. We'll use the efforts of those who went before. Good people, every last one. I'd have been honored to fail with any of them. Looking back isn't a good use of time. We have to keep building. Keep is generous. We have to start. Real building, not just survival. Oh, and Pathfinder, this is for you. It's our flag. Hang it where the Nexus can see. It's touched the soil of our first outpost in Andromeda. Make it real. Head for the Nexus, Pathfinder. Prodromos will have more going on. Than